Are you thinking about eating candy? Time for some PFO and so you know where you're going. All right, it's Halloween, but here trick or treating with the kiddos. Trick or treat! They're all dressed up, awesome outfits, characters. We got a vampire, Alvin from Alvin and the Chipmunks. We're going out, looking for candy, and the question you're all asking, for those of you who have braces, is can I eat the candy with the braces? No. One of our astute young men says no. First off, candy is a lot of sugar, all right? A lot of sugar, and you eat too much, and you don't brush your teeth, you don't go to the dentist, you're gonna get cavities, more than likely. Oh no, 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 no. Then you add on top of that braces. Check out the braces video. Wires and brackets together make up braces. Well, if you have braces, it makes it even harder to to clean your teeth. So now you've got candy, which can be chewy, sticky, grass. and sometimes crunchy, hard. All of those things combined can break brackets. The candy can get stuck in the brackets, making it hard to clean out, and voila. Ta -da! You get cavities. Oh, are you videoing this whole thing? Yes, I am. You're about to be on my YouTube channel. <laughs> what? I'm famous. And if you break brackets, your treatment might take longer. In addition to treatment taking longer, it actually might cost you more. So broken brackets is actually not ideal when you're going through braces. So don't do it. That's a little bit about why candy on Halloween can be just a little bit tricky. Now, if you're in Invisalign, that's another story. We'll talk about that in a second. First candy review. Oh boy. Suckers, you know what? This might be okay with braces as long as you just suck on it. Very chewy. Not bad. Not bad choice there. Happy Halloween. So suckers, you know what? You can suck on those, but again, anything with sugar could be bad, but it won't necessarily damage the braces as long as you don't bite into the sucker. And then the Twizzlers or that little licorice thing, hey, not too bad. A little bit chewy, small, small, cut up in small pieces. Maybe you can get by without breaking any brackets, but can get stuck underneath the brackets. So watch out for that. Look at all this madness. Kids running everywhere, enjoying, awesome. Okay, so let's say, before we get to our next candy, let's say you decide to go with a little bit of Invisalign. Well, how does Invisalign do with candy? The reality is, is that candy is still candy and can give you cavities if you don't take good care of your teeth. You don't clean them well, brush them, go see the dentist, all that stuff, right, boss? But with Invisalign, if you're taking your trays out appropriately to clean, there's really less concern about breaking things because... Let's go in there! You have to go in there, like now. Like now. So if you want more good subscribers. More subscribers by going in the haunted house. Maybe I should. Anyways, if you take it out appropriately, then you should be able to get through without breaking anything and having as major issues as you would, having some of the same issues that you would with braces. So, going in to the haunted house. Going in. Ready, Cal? Let's go. Awesome. And a little bit of candy. Oh, these are good. That was awesome. Thank you. Watch out for these. And a little bit of this action. Very nice. Very nice. So, those like little starburst looking thing of the taffy, you gotta watch out for those. And those little, little, they're not gumdrops, they're like a chewable, whatever they're called. Anything like that. Crunchy, chewy, be careful. But things that you can just suck on, you really just have to be careful about making sure that you clean your teeth appropriately afterwards. How about that haunted house? I have Iron Man here and his legal guardian. Iron Man, what do you think is the worst candy for braces? Uh, something with chocolate and caramel. Chocolate uh, and caramel? So Twix, maybe? Chocolate Something and caramel like. could be bad. The caramel especially is really chewy. If you bite into that thing, brackets breaking like crazy. Thank you, happy Halloween. Yeah, so that was that was a good idea. That was a good idea. I was thinking airheads. Ooh, airheads are also really sticky, really chewy, hard to clean out from the brackets. And if you can't clean it out, Cavities. So maybe not like breaking as much, sometimes the chewy, but definitely if you can't clean it out, you are asking for cavities for sure. When I was a kid, I had uh, Skittles and that did break one of my braces. Yeah, Skittles. Skittles are hard. Right. You bite into those things, you're asking for it. You're asking for bracket breakages. Okay, I have Alvin from Alvin and the Chipmunks here. What's up guys? And I'm going to grab into the bag of candy and pull it out and we are going to decide if this is more of a cavity risk or more of a braces breaking risk. 
Ooh, Snickers, okay. This can be a little bit chewy and definitely lots of sugar. So it actually might be a little bit of both. Maybe a little bit more on the chewy cavity side if you can't clean it out. As long as it's not like frozen or hard, then probably shouldn't break brackets if you eat small pieces and in the right spot. It's still Halloween. We're out trick-or-treating still. And I found Penguin, Mr. Penguin. Hello, sir. Hello. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna dig into his bag and decide if it's a piece of candy that is more likely to break a bracket or cause cavities. Woo, baby, where'd you get this one? Crunch bar, okay, crunchy. I think we're probably looking a little more like breaking brackets here. This will still cause cavities if you don't brush your teeth with your dentist, but I'm gonna vote this one as a bracket buster. Thanks, Mr. Penguin. Thank you. We're still trick-or-treating and I found Dracula. What does Dracula say? Not sure? <laughs> We're gonna look in Dracula's bag and see what kind of candy. See if it's a bracket buster or a cavity maker. Ooh, man, you guys are getting some seriously good candy. That's a full bag. Okay, M&Ms, these are peanut M&Ms. Anything with nuts and brackets, we're definitely risking bracket busting. Busting some brackets. If you can't clean it, it's not as sticky, so maybe it's a little bit easier to clean, but still, you definitely need to clean after you eat a bag of M&Ms. So, got some peanut M&Ms, just you might be risking some bracket busting. So we're finishing up the night. Here is one house, the offerings that they have for Halloween. I think you're gonna like it. Whoa, look at that. And carrots, broccoli, cucumbers, cauliflower. Ooh, these definitely these are, bracket busters. These are delicious. <laughs> delicious Halloween treats? Mm -hmm. Well, this house has it right. This definitely will not cause cavities, or is less likely to cause cavities. These will definitely break your brackets. This is a bracket buster, unfortunately. Carrots, small pieces, or mush them up, blender. I don't know, something like that. Okay, well, there you have it. Happy Halloween. Few different candies that you trick-or-treaters might experience and uh, some advice from an orthodontist as it relates to braces and Invisalign, some bracket busters, some cavity causers. Good luck, all you parents, in deciding what your kids should eat. Try not to break those brackets. We love straight teeth and beautiful bites. If you have any more questions about candies or breaking brackets or Invisalign or carrots, come find us in McKinney and Anna, Texas. That's all I've got. Just a little PFO and so you know where you're going. Packard out.